five we learn about mode. So first let's understand what is mode. Mode is a another measure of central tendency which is extensively used in business and commercial field. The value which get repeated maximum number of time and value occurring with the maximum frequency in the given data is called a mode. Here mode will be denoted something like this. If the information is given in the question in raw data form, in that form you have to find out that repeated maximum number of time. जो भी नंबर मैक्सिमम टाइम रिपीट हो रहा है वो नंबर आपका मोड होगा इन डिस्क्रिएट इफ द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग इन डिस्क्रिएट डेटा एन ऑब्जर्वेशन व्हिच हैज अ मैक्सिमम फ्रीक्वेंसी विल बी योर मोड आपको जो इंफॉर्मेशन क्वेश्चन में दिया होगा उसमें भी आपको फ्रीक्वेंसी देखनी है कि कौन सी मैक्सिमम नंबर की फ्रीक्वेंसी है उसका ऑब्जर्वेशन आपका मोड होगा व्हिच विल बी मोर क्लियर वाइल गोइंग विद द सॉल्यूशन फॉर द डिस्क्रिएट the only information you have to remember the formula in the continuous if the question is asking it from the continuous data here the class is if having a maximum frequency is called a model class which will be denoted as a fm and at that time we'll use this formula where the mode will be is equal to lower limit plus fm minus f1 divided by 2 fm minus f1 minus f2 into class length The next formula in this mode is empirical formula for mode. In this frequency distribution will be not evenly distributed around the average or the class length are not equal. At that time we'll use this empirical formula. Even the mode is carrying one more matter that is graphical matter of mode which will be more clear while going with the solution. The video will be continue with the solution of exercise 3.5. exercise 3.5 started from your page number 109 in this exercise we'll learn about to find mode first the iq level of student in a class are given below find the model value of iq level of students the information is given in raw data remember if you have to find out mode from the raw data the maximum repeated number means a maximum repeated observation will be the mode first let's take the question in our notebook here you can see the number 146 has been repeated twice but number 138 is repeated twice which is more than any other number so here we'll declare mode number 138 moving to the next question the following table given the number of cake sold each day at a bakery find the mode for a sale of a cake now this information is no is known as discrete frequency distribution now for discrete frequency distribution as i already explained in the beginning that the observation which is carrying a maximum number of frequency will be a mode as you can see this is the frequency which is 5 9 25 16 10 and 7 the 25 is the highest number of frequency which is carried by the observation 13 so here we'll give mode remember we have to see the frequency of highest number but the mode will be declared from the observation that is 30 next question number 3 The distribution of ages of forty-eight person in an old age home is given below. Which formula will be appropriate to find the mode? Why? Find the model age of the person in the old age home using the formula you have chosen. Now here you can see the information which is given in the question is a continuous frequency distribution. But check the classes. Here the class is fifty to sixty. That is a class length of ten. The next class is sixty to sixty-five, which is showing the class length of five. And as you can see, the remaining number is not equal class length is given. So here we'll use empirical formula to find out mode. First, take this information in your book. Here I wrote the class and the number of frequency. To find out empirical formula, here the mode formula will be three median minus. 2 mean 
now to find out first we have we need the form find out median now to find out the median here you can see a continuous frequency distribution is given when the continuous frequency distribution is given median will be divided into two step step 1 to find out value of n upon 2 the observation and the step 2 with the big formula that is lower limit plus n upon 2 minus cumulative frequency divided by frequency into class length so here first we'll take n that is the total number of frequency which is 48 48 upon 2 the observation means here we have to find out value of 24th observation 24th observation of cumulative frequency cumulative frequency means the total of the frequency 6 6 plus 10 16 16 plus 19 35 plus 9 44 plus 4 here comes 48 so here we have to find out 24th observation which will come in the cumulative frequency 35 so just mark in this way so here we'll declare the lower limit is 65 frequency is 19 and cumulative frequency will be 16 and the class length between this is 5 so let's keep into the formula the lower limit that is 65 and upon 2 just now we found is 24 cumulative frequency is 16 frequency 19 and the class length 5 so let's keep 65 as it is first remove the calculation of this 24 minus 16 8 upon 19 into 5 here we comes 21.053 the two digit we need the third digit if it is more than 5 we can increase the the number of 5 but here it is 3 which is less than 5 so we will cut it we will keep 0 uh, 21.05 so here the median we found is 65 plus 21 that is 67.05 that's what the median we found out of median we also need a mean now to find out the mean here we have the continuous class so out of continuous class first we have to find out mid value for x here i'm going to use direct method so first we'll find out the mid value that is 50 plus 60 divided by 2 you will get 55 60 plus 65 divided by 2 that is 62.5 65 plus 70 divided by 2 67.5 70 plus 85 divided by 2 that is 77.5 85 plus 100 divided by 2 you will get 92.5 so here we have the x and here f here we can get multiplied this two column to find out fx where the total of this column will known as sigma fx so first let's multiply here i made the cal multiplication of frequency and mid value and here we got the total 33305 we'll keep the formula of mean that is sigma fx upon n sigma fx 3305 divide by n that is 48 after the division, we'll get the answer 68.85. So here we got the answer of mean as well as the median. Here we'll find out mode 3. Mean just now we found is 67.05 minus 2 mean that is 68.85. First multiply this two number that is 201.33 minus multiplication of this two you will find 137.7 so here we got the answer 
63.63 years that's what the mode we found next comment on the mode for the following data showing the time taken in second for eight competitor in a running race now that's what the data is given here we can see it's a raw data when the raw data is given and out of raw data we have to find out mode we have to check that which is the maximum repeated number but if you check these numbers there is a no number has been repeated in this raw data so for such purpose we'll again use a empirical formula to find out mode so here empirical formula will be 3 median minus 2 mean so first we'll find out median out of raw data if we have to find median we'll take the formula of value of n plus 1 divided by 2 the observation n that is a number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 numbers so 8 plus 1 divided by 2 the observation so it would be 9 upon 2 and the answer is 4.5 the observation now this is the four fourth observation plus 0.5 so remember what has to be go fourth observation plus 0 0.5 fifth observation minus fourth observation that's what the calculation has to be go if we get the number in point in raw data so the fourth observation so before we take the fourth observation don't forget to arrange the uh, arrange the raw data in ascending order as we are finding a median not mode so ascending in ascending order here the fourth observation is first second third and here is the fourth observation that is 28.6 plus 0.5 the fifth observation will be the next one that is 29.0 minus the fourth observation 28.6 first get them minus Zero point four, twenty eight point six, point five multiply by point four, you will get zero point six. Plus them, here the answer will be twenty eight point eight. So here, till now we have just find out the median. The next is to find out mean. To find out mean out of raw data, here we only need is sigma x upon n. Now sigma x means the total of this all number. Just use your calculator to add them all. That is 25.5 plus 26.5 plus 28.6 like that till 27.8. You will get the answer. The total of x will be 229.8 and n the number of data which is given is 8. If you divide them you will get 28.725 now this is the third number is 5 which will be increased the digit 2 that is that it will become 73 so that's what the mean you found and the median take this information in formula of mode the mean we found is 28.8 minus 2 that was median and the mean is 28.73 get them multiply 6.4 the multiplication of this and over here 57.46 get them minus here we found the mode 28.94 second that's what has been asked in the question so here is the answer Next.